It's time for your prime time forecast from Dr. Don's weather page in the Shepherd's Weather Center. Now, here's Dr. Don. Well, good Sunday afternoon to you, East Alabama and West Georgia. It's time now for your prime time forecast for Monday, December 21st, 2020, as we kick off Christmas week. Don't forget to head over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support Dr. Don's weather page. We depend on you and our partners to keep this going. Now, let's take a look at your Storm Prediction Center convective outlook for Monday. Merry Christmas. No thunderstorms expected anywhere across the southeastern United States. As a matter of fact, nowhere across the entire United States on your Monday. All right, we've been monitoring this for the last several days as some of the computer models have been spitting out kind of an interesting setup for Thursday, Thursday night into early Christmas morning. And so we've been kind of weighing uh, that possibility of seeing a snowflake or two across East Alabama and West Georgia and, and putting a percentage onto it. Now, the official National Weather Service forecast from the National Weather Service office at Birmingham, which is uh, charged with writing the forecast for East Alabama, has not mentioned the possibility of snow in the official weather forecast package. But they have been discussing that possibility. And so I've been monitoring that and kind of weighing the odds and giving you a chance uh, that, yeah, we could see a snowflake or two Thursday night. It's certainly not going to be a white Christmas. But a f just two or three snowflakes on Christmas in the south is uh, something to get excited about, right? <laughs> All right, so the latest discussion from the National Weather Service, and this is a quote directly from that discussion, it says that both the Euro and Canadian have backed off somewhat from yesterday's more aggressive solution with the wraparound and measurable winter precipitation further south. Now, what this means is yesterday, the models were showing a pretty decent chance that we could at least see some snow showers down to around the I-20 corridor and maybe even a flurry or two down into East Alabama, especially in the higher elevations of uh, Clay and Randolph. Uh, but those models have backed off that just a little bit. I had you at 20% a couple of days ago. Yesterday, I dropped it to 15%. And even though I feel like I probably need to drop it down to about 10%, I'm going to leave it at 15 because the models are flipping back and forth, which is pretty typical going into a winter weather situation. So... I'm not even going to call it a winter weather event because even if we do see a flake or two, it's not going to be an event. And it's not going to look like this on Christmas morning across East Alabama and West Georgia. Hey, but we'll continue to watch the forecast and update you as we see fit. All right, so here's the three-day national map, and here's what happens. That front that came through on Saturday that brought us the cloudy skies and some light drizzle moving on off to the northeast now pretty quickly so high pressure is going to build back in and we're going to have some really nice weather to start christmas week monday tuesday and wednesday and i think the majority of wednesday uh thursday rather uh is dry uh, because we're going to have showers in the morning, it'll dry off in the afternoon, and then that wraparound comes in here late in the day on Thursday into early Christmas morning, and that's where that possible flake or two might come from. It won't be associated with the main line. All right, so here's the Goes East Southern Mississippi Valley satellite. This is as of late Sunday afternoon, and we've got some clouds streaming across central Alabama, northeast Georgia, and also over there on the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. The back edge of all the clouds now crossing the Mississippi River. So yeah, probably by the time you get up tomorrow morning, we could have a little fog hanging around. But once that burns off, we're going to have a lot of sunshine on your Monday. Total rainfall amounts expected over the next five days or so across East Alabama. Maybe an inch to an inch and a quarter. Now, that is going to be taking into consideration the event that comes in here on Christmas Eve. And right now, it looks like it's going to be rather productive as far as rainfall is concerned. Uh, no danger of severe weather, but yeah, we could see some periods of heavy rainfall Thursday morning uh, in the pre-dawn hours. And then, like I said, things will dry up during the day and then late in the afternoon or early evening on Christmas Eve. 
wraparound moisture from the low pressure center could come back across north Alabama and north Georgia and bring us some sprinkles or maybe even a snowflake or two. High temperatures expected on your Monday afternoon across the region. 55 in Roanoke, 56 over in Wadley. We'll go to 55 in Widawi. Woodland tops out at 54. Ranburn hits 54. How about 55 down in Beauregard? 56 in the Valley. Franklin tops out at 58. Dadeville goes to 55. And Rockford will top out at 55 on Monday afternoon. Your current Southern Union State Community College live Doppler HD radar showing some pretty heavy thunderstorms down there in South Florida, down there around Tampa, where we have actually seen a few severe thunderstorm warnings this afternoon. And we still have some light sprinkles occurring down there south of Atlanta, down around Macon, uh, back over I-20 out there to around Augusta. But no precipitation showing up on radar across East Alabama or West Georgia on your Sunday afternoon. Current conditions, the temperature is 53. We're headed south. 57 was our afternoon high. We hit that at 1.39 p.m. on your Sunday afternoon. Winds currently out of the north at around 5 miles per hour. Dew point 46.2. Humidity is 77%. Forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy. Maybe a little fog towards sunrise. Low temperature of 39. Wind out of the northwest at about 5 miles per hour. Sunrise on Monday, 6.42 a.m. The sun sets at 4.39 p.m. So here's your six-day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page for Monday. Some fog early on, then we give away to sunny skies in the afternoon. 55 year high down to 37 on Monday night. Sunshine continues on Tuesday, 58 on Wednesday. And I really think that this is going to be late in the day Wednesday or probably even Wednesday night. Uh, we will go mostly cloudy late in the day on Wednesday and then a chance of rain on Wednesday night. I, I think the majority of Wednesday is going to be okay. 60 will be your high down to 47 Wednesday night. And then on Christmas Eve, a 70% chance of rain in the morning hours. I think the rain's done by noon. And then as we get into late afternoon or early evening, we could see some wraparound moisture, which could bring us a snowflake or two. It'll be pretty to look at. It's not going to cause any problems or, or stick or cause any travel issues or anything like that. But it is going to get cold. Look at that. 28 degrees for your overnight low on Christmas Eve. We'll hold on to a 30% chance of light precipitation of some sort early on Christmas Eve. But by the time we get to Friday, Christmas Day, back to mostly sunny skies, 42. It'll be a cool, brisk day for Christmas. 26, your overnight low Friday night. And then on Saturday, back to sunshine, 48, your daytime high. Here's the extended forecast for the 27th, 52. Maybe some rain showers around. On Monday, the 28th, morning clouds and 65. Overcast and cloudy, 66 out there on Tuesday. Wednesday, the 30th, maybe some heavy rain around, 65. Some morning showers on the 31st, New Year's Eve. And then for Friday, January 1, 2021. I've been waiting to say that a long time. <laughs> All year, as a matter of fact. 59, your daytime high under partly cloudy skies for daytime highs uh, out there on New Year's Day. 32, your overnight low. That's pretty normal for this time of year. Check us out at drdonwx.com. Go over to the God's Country page and download the Mixer app so you can listen to God's Country. Anywhere in the whole wide world, you get my daily weather forecast as a bonus. Also, go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe to Dr. Don's weather page. Click on that little bell so that you get notified when we go live for severe weather. Our partners include Joey Knight at Anchor Roofing, 706-326-2438. Judy Aubrey at Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts in downtown Roanoke, 334-863-2812. Neil Johnson, Superior Heating and Air Conditioning, 334-646-0331. Mr. Brandon Brown at BR Construction, 334-744-1507. Southern Union State Community College, Wadley, Opelika, and Valley. 
Becky Rainwater at Remax Lakefront, 256-610-1390. By Auction 431 South, Joey Knight at 256-252-8932. Made in the South, a division of Southeast Soft Wash, 334-863-0084. Mark Mitchell at Bama Diesel Repair in Woodland, 256-201-3685. Jimmy Stevens of Jimmy Stevens Construction, 256-610-1364. And Jamie Dukas, your Alpha Insurance Agent, 256-452-5131. Don't forget to go over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support Dr. Don's weather page. Hey, don't forget to uh, check us out tomorrow. We'll take a look at that possibility of a few snowflakes out there on Christmas Eve. And we'll let you know uh, just exactly how much rain we expect to see Christmas Eve morning across East Alabama and West Georgia. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. I'll see you back in here tomorrow. Bye now.